Is anybody there? Little bear, you frightened me. I thought you were asleep. I was woken up. Someone was outside my window. I heard them. That was just the wind, little bear. It makes strange noises sometimes. Why are you up, Mother Bear? Well, I just couldn't sleep. I wish Father Bear was here. Yes, I do too. When will Father Bear be home? Soon, little bear. Is he very far away? Oh yes, he's out on his boat in the middle of the ocean. Father Bear isn't scared of the wind, is he? He isn't scared of anything. No, I don't believe Father Bear is scared of the wind. And you don't have to be either, little bear. It's only the cold blowing down from the north. Why does it make such strange noises? The north wind is an angry wind. He has a very bad temper, and you never know what he's going to do. Why is he so angry? He just is, little bear. Did you know that Father Bear and the wind know each other? They do? Oh yes, they've met many times. Let me tell you a story about Father Bear and the wind. There was a stormy night, just like this one. Father Bear was out fishing. Blow all you want, Mr. Wind. But I am a fisherman, and I know your ways. <laughs> Another boat. It looks like he's in trouble. What mischief are you up to now? scared? No. Father Bear was very brave. He's coming to save us! Hurry! Get on board! bad trouble there. We thank you very much, Father Bear. You saved us from that terrible wind. I know this mean old wind. We have met many times. Was the wind angry with Father Bear? Yes, very angry. Off. 
Why do you blow so cold? This is my ocean. These are my seas. But the ocean belongs to us all. You will see. I will take a huge breath. What happened to the wind? He just blew himself out. We will meet again. We will meet. Goodbye, Mr. Wind. And thank you. You've blown me that much closer to home. If Father Bear isn't scared of that mean old wind, then neither am I. That's very brave of you, little bear. Now, would you like some hot chocolate? Yes, please, Mother Bear. Blow, wind, blow, and off you go. I'm not afraid of you. It sounds like Mr. Wind might finally be going home. Yes, I asked him to go home because then Father Bear will come home too. One for the bucket, one for me. Don't eat the blueberries yet, Grandfather Bear. No, little bear. Just put them in the bucket. Yes, little bear. And then we'll take them back to your house, and Grandmother Bear will bake them in a pie. That's right, little bear. Got it. I'm keeping my berries in my trumpet. What a fine idea. My bucket's almost full, little bear. How are you doing? Great. Bear, I thought there were more berries than that in your trumpet. Yes, but, uh... A goblin ate them. A goblin? Did he look like this one? Um, sort of. I wonder if he had as much berry juice on his face as you do. Oh, lots more. <laughs> 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 Oh, well, we still have enough for Grandmother Bear to make a pie. Let's go home. Look, I have a goblin hat. That's pretty close. There's a cave. You're right. Hmm. 
Hello. What's wrong? I just saw a goblin, a big one. The one who ate your berries? No, this one was real, and it was bigger than me. Little bear, would you like to hear a story about a goblin? Okay, but... But only if you hold my paw. I won't be scared. No, but I may be scared. Okay, Grandfather, now don't be scared. <laughs> Well, now, one day a little goblin was walking alone in the woods. <laughs> he was all alone, but he wasn't really scared until he came to an old cave. It was old, it was cold. It was dark. Still, caves that are old and caves that are cold sometimes have gold. <gasps> Something's running after me. Oh, my goodness. What can it be? What was it, Grandfather? The goblin was too scared to look back. And then the goblin saw a hole in a tree. Andy jumped right into it. Oh. It's out there. I know it's out there. I don't know what it is. I just know it's out there. I can't stay in here forever, but it can't stay out there forever. Maybe I can stay in here longer than it can stay out there. Or maybe not. I could take a peek outside and see, but I'd have to stick my neck out. I'm going to peek out. I have to peek out. What did he see? He saw his shoes. My own little shoes and nothing more. Goodness, that old bump in the cave made me jump right out of my shoes. But you came running after me, didn't you? And here you are. <laughs> Good little shoes. You didn't want to stay behind, did you? Who cares about an old bump anyway? <laughs> And so, he danced away in his shoes. It's me. It's just my own shadow. You know what, Grandmother? What, little bear? I can't jump out of my shoes. And why can't you jump out of your shoes, little bear? Because I don't have any shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just how I like it. over there, little bear. I've connected the funnel. Excellent. Whoa! Here it is. 
Is it bouncy? Nice and bouncy. Thanks, Grandmother Bear. Just put it on that pile of books, please. And I do believe the track is finished. Almost. And now the last piece. There. And now we try it out. Ready? Ready. Ready. Oh. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. Hmm. Let's try this. It's going to hit. Maybe this will work better. something to aim this marble higher. Maybe we can find something. Yes. Maybe something in the kitchen. <sighs> you look tired, little bear. I'm not tired. Maybe you should take a little nap until Father Bear and Mother Bear come to get you. But I have to stay up and finish our project. All right, just until you finish the project. <sighs> I am not tired. <sighs> I'm not tired. <sighs> I can shut my eyes, but I will not go to sleep. Hello. Sorry we're a little late. Oh, no trouble at all. He's been lots of fun, but I think he's tired himself right out. Congratulations. I can never get him to take a nap. It's not anything we did. He just wore himself out. Well, thank you for taking care of him today. We had fun. Look at what we made. Mm-hmm. It's a fine piece of engineering. He's such a good little cub. And so creative. He thought of making the marble go through the funnel. And bounce off the sponge. And when something doesn't work like the gong, he keeps at it until he solves it. Or falls asleep. Or falls asleep. Look at him, sleeping now. How sweet he is. And clever, too. Just like his grandfather. Now, why don't we all have a little dessert? Mm. Dessert? Do you have any of your wonderful chocolate cake? <gasps> no, no chocolate cake. <sighs> sugar cookies? You make the best sugar cookies. Mm -mm. Thank you, dear. But Little Bear finished all the sugar cookies. What do we have to offer them? Well, it happens to be Little Bear's favorite. You don't mean... Yes. Honey mm. cake and raspberry ice cream. <gasps> oh, dear. Do you think we should wake him up? 
Honey cake and ice cream. <laughs> you scamp. Have you been awake all along? Maybe. So you went to the city today? Yes, and how it's changed. That's progress. You can't stop it. Oh, and look what we bought. Oh. What is it? It's a candlestick for two candles. It's brass. It's perfect. I'm glad you like it, little bear. Can I borrow it? I promise I'll be careful. Oh, of course. For the marble. Ready? Ready. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. It worked. It worked. Yay! <laughs> it certainly did, little bear. Let's do it again. Come on now, little bear. It's time to go home. <sighs> well, now, look at this. And he said he wasn't tired. Little bear isn't tired. Little bear is fast asleep. Good night. Good night. Thanks again. Good night.